Hello, you are welcome to day five of this brooding training. Here in day five, these are things you look out for in the cheap brooding, including their body structure, weight, and height. They are progressing. In day five, check the chicks whether they have developed body structure with straight legs and no sign of deformity. Check the weight if they have randomly moving ahead, having a stable height weight gain that indicates that they are feeding and they are being properly taken care of. Check the height. Monitor the height of the chicks. They should be standing tall and exploring their surroundings. Number four, check the feeding behavior. Observe how the chicks are eating. Just monitor how they eat. Watch them very well. They should be pecking at the food and showing their interest in eating this food. Showing that the food is delicious and tasty for them. Number five, check their water consumption. Check the water container to ensure that the chicks are drinking enough water. Make sure they are always, they are always hydrated. Dehydration can be a very big concern for chicks, most especially at this stage, because this is the time they take enough water to balance their reaction and at the same time convert their feed. Number six, make sure they are very active. Check their activity levels. The chicks should be very active, moving around the brooding area, and they should not be cloudy so that they will not have health issues. Because when they cloud, together. They contact their body together in order to absorb heat. That means something is wrong somewhere. Either the temperature is not okay or infection have set in. Another one, check the feather development. Look for signs that the feather are developing, especially around the wings and tail. This indicates growth rate. Check the noise level. Noise level is show proper ventilation. Check the noise level and another one Check the ventilation, ensure that there is proper ventilation in the building area to maintain good air quality and at the same time prevent respiratory issue. Respiratory issue will always cause a lot of hazard to cause coriza, to cause dropping nose and a lot of things. Check the cleanliness, check the building area that is very clean. Make sure it is always clean and dry. Remove all the soil beddings and replace it with fresh one. Dry bedding is the best for them at this moment. Then at the same time, lighting system should be checked and considered. Continue to provide a consistent light, which is a very good edge to their feeding, most especially at the night. There should be a 24-hour light at this stage that is very suitable at this stage for their feeding. Another one, behavior and siblings. Observe how the chicks interact with each other. Healthy chicks will always be socializing and exploring together in the environment within the uh, brooding pen. And at the same time, monitor this aspect of this chicken brooding on the five and which will help to ensure that the health and well-being of the chicks are very good and they are growing and their growth is superb and their development is top-notch. Watch the video right now. After watching the video, make sure you give it a thumb up if you find it interesting. And share this video to reach others. If you are not yet a member of this particular platform, click the right button now so that this will make you. There is a button there. Subscribe. Subscribe and share this to all your friends. Let them gain the same knowledge. Share it to your profiles. Share it to your platform. All that groups you belong. Share it all your handles so that others will gain the same knowledge. You also will be among the first set of people. That this particular app will always send the signal that a very interesting topic has been released by your humble teacher, Dr. Leonard Charles. I remain yours. Bye for now. Till the next content. You are welcome to another interesting edition of the brooding for beginners. You can see we are this is the five. This is the five of the brooding. You can see the five. They are growing, they are moving.
proceed so earlier said before we start this is going to be a 21 day training on how to brood your chicken beds for beginners if you are a beginner in poultry farming make sure you watch this content till the end don't skip any portion of this content you're going to gain a lot this is day five you can watch the birds you can see them you can see how they are moving you can see right now there's no more heat here there's no more heat source here what I'm using here, this is electric. You can see, I can close my, it's not hot. What this does is just for, to brighten it. the pan, the brooder, for them to eat. During brooding stage, you need to feed them 24 7. Brooding stage is the time to boost their immunity, it is the time to keep them fit. As I earlier told you, we have 50 beds. There are 51. One extra for mortality beds. We are not going to lose any of these beds till the end. You can watch them. You can see that they are very smart. They are very active. The heat source is no more here. Remember, I told you we have the gas. We have the electric and we have the charcoal. You can make use of any of them. The difference is there. The gas will supply you steady heat. And the gas, you can control it. That's the gas brooding heater. This gas brooding heater will supply heat steadily. You can see it. You can see them. You can see them. They're growing. You can see the shooters. Please watch this to the end. Drop your question on the comment section. If you have any question regarding this, drop it on the comment section. I will answer them for you. Don't miss the day six also. Don't miss the day six also. Thank you for watching. Don't miss the day six. Make sure you give it the thumb up if you find it interesting. And share this video to reach others. If you are not yet a member of this particular platform, click the right button now so that this will make you. There is a button there. Subscribe. Subscribe and share this to all your friends. Let them gain the same knowledge. Share it to your profiles. Share it to your platform. All that groups you belong. Share it to all your handles so that others will gain the same knowledge. You also will be among the first set of people. That this particular app will always send the signal that a very interesting topic has been released by your humble teacher, Dr. Leonard Charles. I remain yours. Bye for now. Till the next content.